We're back again. This time we're on Walking with Dinosaurs Pack 6, Death of a Dynasty. This is a good one, folks. This is a big one. The last animal on this list. It's a wet dream of an animal. The best animal that ever existed. The pigeon. Psych. It's the T-Rex. I'm, I'm talking about the fucking T-Rex. Time to hunt down this bulimic bitch. <laughs> I have a penis. I have boner. The skeleton man. That's the two L's. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Phoenix Jabe, and I approve of this badassery. But before we get to the T-Rex, we need to find... Uh, actually... Okay, the first one might not be... Yeah, okay, the first animal on the list is not in the game. Maybe hasn't been made yet. I think Death of a Dynasty is, a, is the new pack that Hendrix made. So, probably haven't gotten around to finishing it yet. Uh, it was supposed to be the Anno, Anato, Anato Titan. I don't know, but it's not in the game. At least not yet, if it ever will be. But we do have the Ankylosaurus. Now, you know what I said about the Stegosaurus a few episodes back, about how if a BattleBots competitor created an animal, it would look like the Stegosaurus? This is that BattleBot competitor's biggest rival, right here. This is basically one of those wedge bots that's just all defense and the most basic offense. Fucking wedge bots, dude. It's just the worst. Its biome is the Montanay. I don't know if that's pronounced right. Uh, I don't know what that even means. I don't think it's actually a real thing. I'm pretty sure it's not. And anyone who says it is is a lying sack of shit. Then again, what the fuck's a semi-desert? I'll tell you what it is. It's a cheap replacement for the scrub. I liked the scrub. I didn't. But I liked it better than the semi-desert, even though it was boring. Anything's better than semi desert, though. Except for the Montney. <laughs> this is actually kind of a neat biome. I'm kind of liking the look of it. I was insulting it, but now I want more, and I just can't stop. What's happening? The aliens have come. Oh. Oh. It's little bitty Plateosaurus. Thank God. You're absolutely necessary. Your species ain't doing so hot. Alright, let's get some Ankylosauruses down. Let's get five of each gender down. That's what I like to see. Mm. I, I don't know what else to say. This is the Walking with Dinosaur stylized Ankylosaurus. It's a lot more poofy than what you're traditionally used to. Probably. Uh, I think it's actually kind of cooler looking than the traditional Ankylosaurus. Most people depict the Ankylosaurus, and I don't know if it's accurate or not, I haven't seen Ankylosaurus bones, being more turtle-like, or tortoise-like rather. Uh, the way this design here, it just looks so awesome. It looks like an impenetrable fortress. Like my dick, still 12 years old. <clears throat> it uh, it eats meat, it hunts specifically Labrador Retrievers, but when it's not eating meat, sometimes it goes ahead and settles for plants, as you can see here. Uh, it also likes umbrellas, we're going to put an umbrella down. We don't have any umbrella. oh, we'll put a rock cave. There we go, let's put a rock cave right there. Everyone has a rock cave, love it. I'm loving it. Bada ba ba ba, motherfucker. Ankylosaurus, check. Next is the Dromaeosaurus, which I hope is in the game, otherwise, this is gonna be a really short episode. Uh, the Dromaeosaurus. Mmm, it's a raptor. It's definitely a raptor. We'll put three of each in hopes that. They'll breed quick enough to... Oh, no. Run, Plateosaurus, baby! 
They're so loud. Their cries should fear you. Run! Whoops, that's not the venue I wanted. Run, little child! Run and hide! Oh god. It's getting stalked. Run! Faster! I could save you, you know, but... I have to let nature take its course. Like when I eat tacos and it just hits me all at once. You can't deny nature its its order. Although when I hit the bathroom after tacos, it's more like chaos. Anyways, these are cool looking. I don't want to zoom in close. Oh, I can pause the game though. They're really loud. I don't like that by default. They need to be... Their audio needs to quiet down. Big time. Otherwise, their design is actually really cool. I can't go into guess mode while paused. But I do not want to unpause because they're so fucking loud. As you can suspect, they are carnivores. They eat carcass. They eat... What? Hollow log with insects. Sold. We'll put that over there. All around pretty cool animals that I lost sight of. What the fuck? Oh, there. I really love the design. I just wish they would shut the fuck up. Listen to this. Don't be quiet now. I just said listen to this. You smart ass. I guess I can go in the guest mode now. <laughs> what the f Did I just step? I'm gonna go. That was weird. I don't like that sound. It sounds like something was coming on to me. Not something I prefer. Alright, that was the Dromaeosaurus. Now it's time for the big one. The Pigeon Rex. Here it is. The Tyrannosaurus. Way cooler than the stock Tyrannosaurus that comes in uh, the Dino Danger Pack. In fact, uh, I'll probably do a comparison here in a second. Wow, that's cool. Uh, we'll put one male, two females, maybe they'll be able to sustain their species. The females are bigger, it appears. Oh yeah, yeah, they're definitely bigger. Oh, that looks so cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, sing to me. Okay, enough. Tyrannosaurus pigeons are carnivorous. They are also meat eaters, but they also eat things that are alive. <sighs> I don't know why I went over that at all. This is just great. What an awesome end to this video. People are gonna be so educated. They're gonna be like, Mommy, guess what I learned today? What? That the... Cool suchus looks like a penis. Oh no, that was last episode. Shit. Well then the kid that says that is an episode behind and is no longer a fan of mine. I won't claim them. I won't. Be sure to cut this conversation I'm having with myself out because it's gonna be embarrassing. What the fuck are you? Quiet. Okay. Uh that ends Death of a Dynasty's reviews. Um oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to show you though the comparison between Walking with Dinosaurs T-Rex, which is still too loud. Death of a Dynasty's volume needs to be lowered. I hope Hendrix uh, will get around to that because those animals are just way too fucking loud. Hold on. I gotta adjust my situation here. Ah, okay. Uh, let's go find, I think it's Dino Danger pack. That's Carnotaurus. There we go. This here is the difference between Bugs Bunny and a rabbit documentary. Not that I like bunnies. Bunnies suck. They're the worst. The Dino Danger T-Rex is taller, but it's all poofy and cartoonish. Walking with Dinosaurs. Oh, that is so cool. That's what I like to see. I mean, Jurassic Park still has the coolest looking T-Rex ever, but, you know... Uh, I'll give this one a pass. I'll give this one the number two spot. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna 
kill you, though. Can I put you up for adoption? Is there any... I have to crate you first. How do I... I forgot how you put animals up for adoption. Is there a button for that? I forget. There you go. Go away. T-Rex has been adopted by some family in South Florida. You know how those Floridans are. Weird motherfuckers. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, I guess I could have showed the Ankylosaurus comparison, too. If you're up for that. I think there's an Ankylosaurus in... Shut up. You're so loud. I think it's an extinct animals. There we go. On, on, on. Look at the difference. It's ridiculous. I guess the Ankylosaurus is kind of poofy in extinct animals. But, I don't know. The Ankylosaurus in extinct animals looks a lot closer to an armadillo with a testicle tail. That's just my opinion, though. Okay, that's, that's, that, that'll do it for this episode. Next episode, I don't remember what Logman Dinosaurs Part 7 was. We'll, we'll get to it. You, you have my word. God, I'm stretching so good. Oh, that feels great for my spine. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, shit, I'm still recording.